Hello guys and welcome to Takumi, Takume the Dreaming Daughter. Now, today's International Women's Day so I thought I'd do a game with a female protagonist because we do see a bit of that, like there are some pretty cool ones of them. But you don't see it as often as men and since it's Women's Day I thought it would be nice to have a look at different games which have females as the main characters. So, we're going to have a look at what this is. I found this one on itch.io so it's a little indie game and we'll see what it's like. Okay, new game. I thought this was a video. <laughs> I was waiting for something to happen. Okay, here we go. Something is wrong here. Takumi. Sister. We're supposed to follow him? No, we can't move yet. That was still the end of the video. Is it Takumi or... T yeah, I'm not sure. Takume? Takumi? Okay, we'll talk to this weird looking dude or we'll walk past him. Can we just keep walking? No. Okay, so we have to talk to this weird looking dude. Welcome. Who... who are you? A spirit who has lived among your kind for far too long. So you are not alive, or why do you live here in the forest? I'm more concerned about the fact he's not alive. So, you are not alive? No. Really? Well... Why do you live here in the forest? The forest is a good friend. I feel welcome here. I'm looking for my sister. Did you perhaps see her? She looks a lot like me, but darker. Indeed, I might have. If you want to find her, you have to continue this way. Thank you. Now I should be able to keep going, I would imagine. Yes. Can I jump or anything? I can move. Oh, I can move that way too. Cool. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be completely just, you know, side to side. There's that guy again. Uh, are you the spirit I talked to earlier? How can you be here? I move differently through time and space. I am a spirit after all. Why don't you just come along and keep me company then? I very much like to do that, but I can't. Am I still going in the right direction? Yes, you have to venture deep into the woods. That does not sound like a good idea. I don't think it's ever a good idea to venture deep in the woods normally. Normally when that happens in movies and games and stuff, that doesn't end well. Past the swamp and through the wall of thorns. Yep, that sounds pleasant too. There will be a clearing. That's where my sister went. That is where you must go. Okay. I like her pink hair. That looks like the sort of pink I use on the channel quite a bit for different things. Almost the same pink as the one I've got on the um, the character on the Stick of Truth. Um, excuse me? Hello? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm. Maybe you can help me or what are you doing there? That's it. Maybe better not to be nosy first off and not say maybe you can help me. That sounds a bit direct like help me, but we'll see what he says. Maybe you can help me? My name is Takumi. And I'm looking for my sister. Haven't seen anything. I try and catch animals, not people. I understand. Humph. <laughs> and what are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm trying to set a trap. Ah, Why? I'm a trapper. This is what I do for a living. And what are you trying to catch? Not what? Who? I'm trying to catch the... Kukagen. Kekagen? Kukagen? Hmm. What now? The Kukagen. What does it look like? Oh, it's a small animal. Furry with long hair all over. Why? I just forgot. Oops, I made him talk like the voice I was doing more for her then. Hey, cool, we can use things. Fruits. I got one. There's someone inside. That's a bit creepy. What's that person doing hiding in the bushes? Let's see if this Kukajin likes Nashi. Is that the fruit? Yeah. So that's the creature. Shoo! Did it run back and get caught by that guy? It did. It worked. What will you do with it now? K 
kill it, skin it, and eat most of it, of course. What? No, it's just a tiny little doggy animal. This is what I always do with the animals I hunt. What did you expect me to do with it? Raise it as a pet? I... But... If I had have known you would kill her, I would never have helped you. Too late for that now. Can you at least help me finding my sister now? Um, no, sorry. As I said, I only hunt animals. But here, you can have this stone I found. This is very heavy for being such a small thing. I have work to do now. Thank you for your help. Farewell. I wonder what the stone's useful for. Kekajin, I am sorry. I wonder what the stone's useful for. Can I get more fruit? I already got a fruit. No. I thought I might be able to now. I've used it. There's nothing here anymore. I wonder what the stone does. Is this the swamp the spirit mentioned? Hey, over here! Is that a mushroom? My name is Emma Furicoso. Emma Furicoso. Oh hell, I'm Takumi. I'm stuck in the mud and can't get out. Can you help me? I've got sorry I don't have time for that or I'm not very strong but I will try. I'm assuming I'm supposed to do the help helping. I'm not very strong but I will try. Ugh. A bit more. Ugh. Yes, that's it. It's a mushroom man, apparently. Thank you, you have no idea how long I was stuck in there. You're welcome. Finally, now I can make the rain fall again. You can make it rain? You can do that? Yes, after all, that is my purpose here. Here, let me show you. And there we go, we've got little, little lines for rain. Rain noise is pretty convincing, though. Okay, how do I move again? Oh, it's going to finish. I thought it was just going to stay raining, but apparently not. Why'd she run over there? It's like a mirror? I never like looking at myself in the mirror. The longer I look at it, the more uncomfortable it gets. While you were here, did you maybe see my sister passing by? I'm sorry, you're the first person coming this way in a very long time. Oh, okay. But I have something for you. Here, take this. A shard of glass? Whenever you feel lonely, look at it and you'll see a friendly face. The thank you. They're sort of similar looking, if that's what she was talking about, the mirror. They're sort of similar looking, but they are different. I don't think it was that similar. It's like an angel or something. Wow, who are you? Oh, that was in the wrong colour, so I thought it was that person, but that was her saying that. I think it was the wrong colour. I'm a friend, you can call me Yoland. What are you doing here? Have you seen my sister? Have you seen my sister? Indeed, I have seen who you call your sister. It's talking like some kind of prophet or god or whatever. Indeed, I have seen. Where is she? Do you know if she is well? She is exactly where and how she needs to be. Definitely talking like some kind of mystical being of some kind but sort of more along the line god all knowing types as opposed to you know just magical but doesn't know all this sort of crap i need to find her do you and why is that because she needs to get home so you need her you mean well that was very blunt you need her she doesn't need you well yes but does she need you what are you saying Maybe she left for a reason. Maybe she doesn't want to be around you anymore. It's like the opposite of a god. It might actually be legitimately true. I don't know. It sounds like it's taunting her and it's like an anti-god angel-y type thing and it's trying to screw with her head now. Because it's like maybe she doesn't want to be around you anymore. No, what an awful thing to say. How dare you? You don't know her and you don't know me. Oh, I know you both well. Think about it. Why would she leave without a word? She does not want to be found and brought back. I think this guy's being manipulative. He might not be. But it more sounds like a manipulative character than anything. I can't believe that. I won't. You say you're a friend, but you're not. You're just mean. I'm merely stating the obvious. And I'm trying to spare you misery and suffering. That is what a true friend does. Is it not? No. 
All you tell is lies. My sister will never abandon me and I will not abandon her. No matter the cost. No matter the cost. Then by all means continue. But no, there is no going back from this. I won't leave her behind. Stone and shard. They are pulsating. I thought it was going to be a case of literally using the stone and stuff, not it actually magically opening stuff. Hello, Takumi. Ray Rayola, sister. I've been waiting for you to come. Finally, I found you. I've missed you dreadfully. I've been waiting for so long. Waiting, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. Roya? I needed you, but you weren't there. What? What happened? Don't pretend. You know what happened to me. To us. Hmm, that's interesting. I... You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Don't you carry the gift of guilt? Haven't you travelled on the road of reflection and followed the path of pain? Uh... The stone, the shard, the thorns. Oh yes, I remember what they did to us. And you pushed me away after that. It's not I who left, but you. You left me here in the dark. Hmm, that's interesting. So what we're seeing possibly isn't the whole thing. Unless that's not really the sister that's somehow messing with her head. Um, we're not seeing the whole thing and they actually had some issue before this. And the person we're playing actually abandoned the sister. I am so so sorry I just I just couldn't bear it the hurt was too much I couldn't live with it so you tried to push it away you forced yourself to forget about what happened about me and for a while it was fine for you but now now you come now you know that you can't forever push away and forget what's part of you yes you're a part of me and the void inside me it grew every day it grew and grew until Without you, I'm not complete. I needed to be whole again. You were lost. We both were. That horrible night, it threw us off balance. Without balance, we fell apart. To find balance, we must understand your feel our feelings. So what actually happened between these two, really? To understand our feelings, you must face them, not run away from them. Is this whole thing a massive metaphor and they haven't actually been in this situation as such? All that was all emotions and stuff and it made her like abandon her sister temporarily? I, I lost myself and you. I was so hurt and confused it all fell apart. I want us to be as we were before. How, how can I get back to who I was? You don't. Wow. That's short. I... I don't understand. What happened changed you? It changed me. It changed us. Forever. There's no going back. But how can I go on? Except that this is part of your life. The fear, the pain, the darkness. But that is no life to live. Th that is constant hell. Not necessarily. If you don't let it define you, these feelings you have. They are valid, but they aren't everything you are. I'm still not sure if this is all still happened and this is within the context of the game or if it's completely metaphorical now. Definitely the feelings relate to that, but you can have the metaphor being real but also relating to that. Or this could all just be fake and this is all just a different thing going on completely. You're so much more. Together we can be so much more if we share our suffering. So it's saying you accept your stuff, but don't let it define you. But you share your issues with other people and go through it together. In this case, sisters. We can help each other and others. We can prevent it from happening again. If tears flow, let them. In this time, tears are our fuel. Leave the darkness. Choose to live in the sun, Takume. I, I'm not sure if I can do that. I don't think I'm strong enough. You've come this far. Don't give up now. It's okay. I'm here. We can make it with love and trust. Rayoya, how can you trust me ever again after what I did? 
All I see is a tower of my mistakes and now it comes crashing down on me and I'm reeling. Takume, when Nepoti. We're more than just sisters, we need each other. I, Varoya, I am sorry. I was broken and I made you suffer for it. I hope you can forgive me. I think, I think you're right. Together as a whole, as one, we'll make it through this. Takume. Roya, we're gonna hug. That was interesting. So that was Takume for you, the dreaming daughter. Yep, dreaming daughter. That's right. So it is all a dream representing all of that. I thought started to think it was a metaphor when it was talking for so long about the emotions and that. Like, you can have the metaphor alongside the real thing. Like, you can have metaphor actually being a reality in your universe you're in but it also represents emotions and that since it was dreaming daughter that was a dream and it just completely represented the emotions and everything that she was going through and her sister was going through and doesn't really show what the real thing was behind that that caused all those issues beyond emotions like what set all that off but yeah it was clearly a big metaphor for all that which is kind of interesting those things are interesting it's the same as when certain TV shows make you question, you know, if something's to do with people's sanity or if it's real or fantasy and all that sort of thing. It can be quite interesting to go down that path. I was quite impressed by that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching and, well, happy Women's Day. Thanks for watching, guys.